Hello everyone and welcome, I am Eddie and we are playing Eador, Masters of the Broken World. Alright, in the last episode we took um, the province of Tilaran and we got a red wood out of it. So they are very discontent even after we put some forest spirits as a guard, which gave us, uh, well, gave them a mood bonus of plus two. And we built a sawmill already. And we can't build anything else. So you explore. And you explore also because, yeah, they're um, at 19%. Okay, and we found an abandoned temple. Executioner, swordman, pikeman, crossman, monk. Seven of them. Let's go. So, let's go for the Executioner, oh, and unfortunately he didn't die uh, outright. This time he, he will... All right. And we get a crappy crossbow. But we also level up to level 17, health plus one. Uh, pathfinding is uh, good and all, but uh, yeah, max machine, maxman ship five. Uh, two range attack and range plus one. That's definitely what it is. Healing plus one. And he's already at. Uh, what? I think we have a small bug here. I hope that's just uh, a display problem. Okay, lots of money. A contract, a guard contract uh, for a dwarven clan. And a quilted jacket. Two defense, two range defense. And it's light armor. So my um, scout can wear it. 
Jago is exploring. And I must have forgotten the prerequisite because I do already have enough money for that, so let's check that out. Uh, first, let's see. Yeah, we only have the basic uh, one one, so. Alright, so let's check. Buildings. Oh, the town council has to come before the Crossman's Guild. Alright, my bad. Okay, you go there. Come here. All right. Oops. And we're still, uh, yeah, we need to get to 30%, I think, to get above that. So let's continue exploring. Let's put us a house so that we can sell and repair. Okay, and we found a hidden chest and got 200 gold out of it. That's uh, good. And now we build the town council. All right, 274. Okay, 28. Uh, okay, we didn't need to get uh, all the way up to 30, but uh, let's spend one more turn in there. And now we have access to the deputy's house, which increases the gold income uh, by 10% and reduces the corruption. Okay, we are attacked by uh, bandits. Okay, let's see a thief, a couple of brigands, and a bowman.
Alright, easy peasy. But enough to get a new level, so... Let's go with uh, combat level 2. And we got a basilisk uh, necklace, part of a set. Excellent. Okay, peace hunt in the province of Belarus have found an ancient burial ground. It is rumored among the locals that this is a pagan shrine from, the, from their remote ancestors. And many people begin to bring flowers to the ancient grave, paying tribute to the memory of their relatives long gone. Yeah, the last time we had uh, this event, we put up an obelisk, but then the obelisk uh, damaged some of the grave. And I think it's kind of random the effect it's going to have. Let's uh, try it. Yep. Same thing. Let's perform a new cleansing ritual. Okay, so they are back uh, into a good mood. Okay, let's build a crossman guild. I'd really like to earn one more command point here to get a. Uh, a fifth uh, melee you need to uh, complete my line of defense okay we're up at 35 percent now let's just uh, Move on, move on to Linton and uh, continue advancing, uh, hopefully towards our last opponent. Uh, here, 55. So let's check our provinces. Girls Island is still uh, locked. Okay, 81%, we should be good. We, uh, we're at the last level. Until Lauren, um, let's uh, yeah, let's send him here. Oh, and also, yeah, I wanted to check. Okay, we do have a bit of corruption. So let's see, all one, which one is that? Oh, it's, um, that one. The fort and a mall. And the deputy's house. Alright. Okay, so nine units. Ooh. Knight, horseman, guardsman. That's kind of tough. One knight, one horseman. Let's trade. 
Maybe if I can uh... If I can get rid of the horseman on the first turn and then the knight I should be okay I think Oh, well, maybe the knight first. I didn't think he he was on a horse. Yeah, and the horseman is really um, secondary. I think twelve attack, two three in defenses, twenty seven hit points. Whereas he has, yeah, he's a lot more dangerous. Oh, and eleven range defense. That's not good. Fortunately, we have only three on precise shots. Okay, we still have a good chance to kill him outright, so... Alright. So we should be okay now. The rest of them uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. to do much damage here so let's just let him come yeah let him come also Okay. And the goal was uh Oh, I still need that one, so... Alright, so here I explore 68%. So actually, let's uh, just take the time to explore uh, 
wants to get up uh, above 70%. Dragons. Oops. Okay, we found an abandoned farm. Let's attack them. I think the rest should be uh, easy enough. Oh, that's not good. He's got double shots. So let's get rid of him. And let's be uh, bit aggressive this time. The assassin is a bit dangerous. So We should be okay. We did take uh, quite a bit of damage, but... Uh
get a Bonebreaker. I think it's uh, the same weapon my warrior has, but um, my warrior has a magical version of it, I think. Okay, and one of the monks gets a healer's medal. That's really good. And Spellbreaker, that's uh, the same one my warrior has. Three twenty four. Okay, so it's um, so that one. Okay, well, good life-wise. Oh, and we're out of time, so... Uh, next time I think we'll be attacking uh, Ship Timberwood. Yeah, that's it. Maybe he's up there. Or up there, I don't know. I might want to build a shipyard here. Okay, that opens up uh, visibility a little bit. So he doesn't seem to be here. So I might have to go that way. Alright, but we'll uh, see that in our next episode. Thank you for watching and see you later.